Why do some celebrities get canceled while others don't? That's a question I've been asking myself. So I've developed a foolproof mathematical formula to tell if a celebrity will get canceled. If this formula works, we will even be able to tell if future celebrity scandals will get them canceled or not. I believe I've cracked the formula and the results are indisputable and I challenge you to find the flaw in my proof. If you think you found one, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Wrong! Trust me, I'm a scientist. I will walk you through some real life examples as I explain how this formula works. There are a few factors that come into play when determining if a person will be canceled. The first factor will be likability. I will represent this variable in our formula with the letter L. Each celebrity will be assigned a number between 5 and 10, and there are a few factors that determine this number such as personality, talent, charisma, attractiveness plays a role too. I have weighed these factors and come up with an accurate number for each person. The next factor will be heinousness. That's a word, right? Heinousness. Yep, that's a word, okay. So, heinousness of the crime or infraction. This variable will be called H and will be assigned a value between 0 and 5. Okay, I'm going to use some abbreviations here because YouTube doesn't like people talking about this, even what is like obviously an educational way. This is a very educational video. So 5 will be on the high end and will include things like SA and the uh, ending of people's lives. 4 will be S harassment or S misconduct. In the middle at 3 will include things like derogatory and offensive words being used and directed at someone. Two will be offensive or derogatory words as well, but not being used specifically at someone. So maybe in like a joke or something where it's not really appropriate. And one will be like offensive jokes that aren't necessarily horrible, kind of dark humor stuff, or just weird behavior like when Ariana Grande licked that donut for some reason. Now in our formula, we have L and we will minus H from it. And that will give us our value of C. C is our cancelability rating. Using that formula, if C is 5 or under, you will be cancelled. The lower the number, the more cancelled you are, and you may even be jailed. If you score around 4 or 5, there may be a chance for a comeback. And if you score a 10, you're perfect in the eyes of the public. Since this is a scientific formula, we will have to show some real-world examples to determine if it's accurate. And once proven, we'll even be able to predict future cancellations. Let's start off with some extreme examples to show how it works. So here we have Kevin Spacey. First, we determine his likability value, or L. He was actually a decent actor, so he has that going for him, and he had a good run of movies from the late 90s and the early 2000s. He never came off as all that charismatic or approachable, so that brings him down a bit. And he kind of just looks like someone's dad, so he gets an L value of 6. As for his heinousness value, or H, ooh, this is a bad run. He had many accusations of SA, including one from Anthony Rapp when he was only 14. And in his apology, he also came out as gay, which did not help as people saw this as him conflating homosexuality with being a pedo. <laughs> he gets the highest H value of 5, so the calculation is 6 minus 5, giving him a cancelability value of... Um, 6 minus 5... 1, meaning he was cancelled off the face of this earth, and unlikely to ever be forgiven by the general public. And that tracks with what actually happened to him, so the formula holds up. Let's go to the other extreme, Keanu Reeves, starting with the L value. He's been starring in some of the most iconic movies for over 30 years, going back to Bill and Ted, including The Matrix, John Wick, and the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run. He's by all accounts a super nice guy in person too. He was hiding one secret though involving children. He was secretly donating millions of dollars to children's hospitals. He just wanted to do a good deed and he didn't want attention for it. The man also has an age and might secretly be an immortal being, so he scores a perfect 10. Through all my research, I can't find him doing anything wrong ever, so he scores a 0. 10 minus 0 equals 10, which makes him perfect and God's gift to humanity. Those are two extreme examples, so now let's try this on some other cases. Let's try it on Matt Damon. He's been in a lot of good movies, like The Departed, The Bourne series. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Goodwill Hunting. He seems like a pretty nice guy. He's involved with a lot of charity work, and he's not a bad looking dude. So we'll give him a value of 8 for L. You might not be aware, but he did have a bit of a controversy not long ago. He admitted in an interview that one of his daughters had taken him to task months ago for using the homophobic slur F in a joke. He says he stopped using the word and he's never directly used the slur against a person. I think that lands him as a 2 because it was a joke but it involved derogatory language. 
The math works out as eight minus two, which gives us six. So he is not canceled and his career is just doing fine. So that uh, checks out. Next, we have James Gunn, which is a bit of a weird case. So we'll see if the math works and this will be a good test for it. He's a very talented writer and director, and he's made some of my favorite movies going back to Slither, Dawn of the Dead, Guardians of the Galaxy. And he has a great sense of humor too, leaning into dark humor effectively. He's not a bad looking guy either. He's got kind of a nerdy look going on, which I guess works for him. So he gets a value of eight for his L value. For the heinousness of his actions, he made some offensive jokes in the past that were dug up on Twitter dating back to 2009. He made some satirical comments about the 9-11 attacks, AIDS, and the Holocaust. Holocaust? Why does it sound Boston? <laughs> this is a Hobbit bot, huh? Holocaust. This gives him a... <laughs> This gives him an H value of one. So eight minus one gives him seven, but he was canceled, right? The formula doesn't hold up. He was fired by Disney following the resurfacing of all these tweets. Well, it seems like the general public and Disney disagreed on this case. It was at the height of the cancellation era and he got caught up in the crossfire. I think people got that he was just trying to be edgy at the time. And yeah, the jokes were in bad taste, but they weren't really reflective of who he currently was. Disney reacted quickly to avoid scrutiny from the public. Time would tell though that he wasn't really canceled as he went on to direct Suicide Squad and even returned to Disney for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. The math still holds up. Let's do Tom Cruise. He's one of, if not the biggest movie star of all time. He's been in so many blockbusters like Top Gun, Mission Impossible, Minority Port, and best of all, Legend. He seems charismatic in person, though I sense he has a bit of a temper under the surface. You're stepping over a line now. You're stepping over a line. You know you are. Just put your manners back in. He is another ageless celebrity who looks very good for his age. Fortunately, he fixed his teeth early in his career. So he gets a great score of nine. In terms of his transgressions, he's a bit of a weird case. He's never been called out for doing anything horrible, but he has a series of odd behaviors. The Scientology thing is a negative since they have some really weird beliefs and they're pretty controlling of their followers. There's that infamous Oprah interview where he jumped up and down on the couch while professing his love for Katie Holmes while grabbing Oprah, which has been parodied many times. I give him a one for just being weird, but there was also this case where he was flying a plane and turned off the oxygen to his passenger to keep more for himself. He told this story on Letterman while laughing hysterically. So I think this bumps him up to a two. We now have nine minus two, which gives us seven. So he is very far from being canceled. So he can keep doing his stunts till he eventually gets himself killed. Let's do one more before we use the formula to predict future cancellations. And this one can be a bit controversial. Louis CK. This one really shows the power of being funny. He was one of the funniest comedians and I don't think I've ever laughed harder in my life than I did while watching his specials. His show Louis was really good too. He seemed charismatic enough in person, leaning into his comedic timing in interviews. His comedy was really dark sometimes, which was funny because it was just a joke, right? He would never do things like that in real life. Uh, I don't like to comment negatively on people's looks, so no comment here, but I will consider it in his scoring. And I think we can give him an eight for his L value, not his looks, L value. As for the bad things he's done, and it's uh, pretty bad. He invited female comedians to his hotel room and proceeded to remove his clothes and touch himself without their consent. And you gotta understand, he had a lot of power and influence in the comedy scene, so he was able to get away with doing these things. Basically, if you spoke up, you'd be blacklisted from all the venues. He would also um, fail No Nut November while on phone calls with female comedians. He gets a four for this behavior. He avoids a five because he didn't actually physically touch them. So eight minus four equals four, and he was canceled as history shows. He has been able to make a slight comeback as there is a small community who still support him and he even did a few shows. I don't think I could ever watch him again knowing what he's done, but the math holds up again, showing that he has a low chance for a comeback. Now that we see the formula works, I will use it to see what it would take to cancel celebrities in the future. I'll pick a random celebrity here. Let's try it on Jennifer Aniston. While her career is hit or miss, she's been in some movies I like, such as We're the Millers and Horrible Bosses. Love it or hate it, she was in one of the most popular shows of all time, R.I.P. Matthew Perry. She seems nice enough in person, and I haven't heard bad things about her, so I think we can score her at 7. 
Now using the formula, we can determine what it would take for her to get canceled. To get canceled, the C value must be equal to or lower than five. So we can rearrange the equation to get L minus C equals H. Put in our numbers and we get seven minus five equals H, which makes H equal two. So let's look at our scale. If she does something that lands her a two, she will be canceled. If she uses derogatory language or offensive words, she will get canceled. So if she used the N word or F word, that would probably get her canceled. And I think that sounds about right. I don't know if many people would argue that. Let's go with one of the biggest celebrities in the world right now, Taylor Swift. She's truly doing it all right now. Her concerts sell out instantly. She has an army of loyal fans. She's pretty and talented. She seems nice too. She gave all the truck drivers who work on her tour $100,000. Damn, I need to get into a different career. I think we can safely give her a 10. So we have 10 minus five equals five. Let's take a look at the chart. It would take her nothing less than SA or intentionally killing someone to get her canceled. And even then with a score of five, she may be able to make a comeback. It's like Donald Trump says. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? You know what? I want to try this on myself too. I'm kind of a celebrity. I get tens of views on my videos. Okay, let's see for my L value. Uh, okay, I'm not all that charismatic uh, in terms of talent. I've never really made anything that good. Um, looks, uh, I'm okay looking, right? Uh, here, what do I look like right now? Oh my God, that's what I look like? Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, so I guess maybe a five. So, um, okay, so I didn't anticipate someone scoring as low as five in the equation, so I think it's where it falls apart a bit. So it seems I am already canceled. Um, I guess don't like or subscribe. You don't wanna be seen supporting me. And normally I say I'll see you next time, but I guess I won't because I'm canceled. Okay, bye.